Today we're going to be shooting some Lee 452 300 RF round flat nose big old 45 Colt bullets and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank CW Longshot for sending these out to the channel. He knows that I got the Ruger Blackhawk Bisley here and I love shooting different loads through it. So he sent these out to the channel for us to try out. Now these have that bullet from Lee, the 452-300. Below that we got some HP 38 powder. Not going to tell you to load on it because it really don't matter. Now if you would like to see these rounds made up, check out the description down below. Now I have a link to my reloading channel if you want to see these made up. But let's go ahead and get started and shoot these. Alright, we're going to load these big old torpedoes in here. Take our first shots here. Sorry, some of the targets do have marks on there. I'm out doing videos today. I ran out of paint. I know some people throw a hissy fit if I don't paint the targets. Is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go for the MGM Gong. Ooh, it looks like I went over it. There we go. Try it again. Yep, I got to aim at the bottom of it. Let's try the MGM Coyote. Man, that smacks the snot out of him. Ooh, it went over him again. There we go. Let's try the bowling pin. Or let's not. <laughs> that was six rounds and it went quick. One thing I like about 45 Colt, I just love loading these big old torpedoes into these guns. Mostly this Ruger. If you guys haven't saw, I made up some spicy rounds with these. And uh, I'll leave a card up above for you guys to check that video out. Those were a lot of fun to shoot in this. I don't plan on shooting very much of them in here just because they're very high powered. To me, that's not real good, even though this is a heavy built Ruger. Not something I'm going to do all the time. So let's try the bowling pin. Ooh, maybe I had to aim lower. Ooh, there we grazed it. Don't look like I'm getting a hold of it too good. That time we got a hold of it, I was aiming too low and just nicking it. Now we knocked the snot out of it. Let's go for the MGM popper. Ooh, right above it. Can't remember, do I got one left or not? Nope, none left. We'll get it the next round. Tell you what, the last time I shot this gun was those spicy rounds. These are very, very pleasant to shoot compared to that. Those uh, spicy rounds are kind of hurting my hands at the end. No fun when you're actually hurting your hand, but sometimes it is. We might load up a uh, lower power of those and get back out here and do that. But let's try that MGM popper here. See if we can find our aim on it. Right there it is. Ooh. Looks like I'm going above it again. Try it a little bit lower. There we go. There's my aim on it. And of course, every time I find my aim, I run out. <laughs> Gotta love revolvers. They got big power, but not a lot of rounds. <laughs> All right, this time around, got a single action revolver and I dropped around here. Pick that up here real quick. So since we got a cowboy around, we have got to shoot this thing one-handed. This is a mild load. I can tell you right now for what I did from my uh, research on this, this is a max load. But the primers aren't even flattened or nothing. It's a nothing load with this HP 38. Let's go for the MGM gong. There we go. MGM coyote. Big silhouette. Big silhouette on the frame. Ooh, over it. There we go. Let's try the MGM popper. Oh, let's not and say we did. All right, we haven't gone after that little gopher yet. Let's see if we could pop him. Oh, yeah, we popped him real good. Oh, 
I missed them. There we go. All right, let's try the bowling pin again. <laughs> that blew some chunks out of that. I don't think that bowling pin's gonna last long here. Let's try the six inch MGM. Or not. <laughs> I need to start counting my rounds. People get on me all the time about that because I shoot all the max of what I get at Revolver. I always forget to count my rounds. Let's load up again. All right, we're going to try for that six inch MGM gong again. Can't tell if I hit that or the rubber. Ah, going all the way around it. Let's try the MGM popper. There we go. Was that all of them this time around? Oh, uh, nope. I still got one left. Let me get that round back here. Okay, it's right there. One, two, three. All right. Should be on that round again. If not, it'll be the one after it. Let's go for the MGM. And we missed it, but that was on that shot. This thing is a blast. All right, let's see if we can kill a coyote with this one here. I'm going to try for its head and see if we can pop that here. Right in the top of it. Ooh, I just nicked it that time. Let's try a body shot here. All right. MGM gong. MGM popper. Oh, I think I got one left. Oh, no, I don't. Jeez. That's it. I think I got two more rounds. Let's try for that bowling pin. All right. We only got two rounds left here. And I want to go for that bowling pin. All right. Whew, let's try this out and see if we can pop it here. Try it one more time. All right. Popped it on the last shot. Gotta love it. So what's my final thoughts here on the Lee 452 300 round flat nose bullets that CW Longshot sent out to us? Thumbs up, love them. Even though this was kind of a light load for them, even though it was a max charge, I know these could be pushed a lot faster. So what we're gonna do is for a future video, we are gonna get the unique powder out. Cause if you guys go back a ways, CW Longshot sent me another 300 grain bullet and we had them spiced up pretty good with the unique. So we're going to try that in, with, with this bullet and this gun and see how fast we can get those going. We might do a ladder test with it and then do a shooting video like this. Or I might just do a shooting video. Leave a comment down below if you want to see a ladder test or if you just want to see me shoot them a little bit more spicy than what these were. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there I have links to Axle Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. Some of them got discount codes to save you guys money. Other ones are affiliate accounts that do help out the channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God. And I'll see you all on the next one.